even though you asked everybody that question, I still don't have like one in my pocket that's like a really good joke. I think I hear them and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna save them and then I forget them and that's what's happened. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> I was born in Atlanta, Georgia. It's nice, it's grown and changed a lot since I was from there. I go back for Christmas or a family's birthday, um, go to Piedmont Park. It's like full of life, people having barbecues and playing music. And I like to do outdoorsy stuff, like go to the river. It's really popular to raft down the Chattahoochee River. So I do that, it's a fun thing to do in the summer. <laughs> yeah. I used to make CDs from my friends of all my favorite songs and give them out. <laughs> and whenever I would go to a club, I would gravitate towards the DJ and hang out right over their shoulder and watch them and ask them questions. So I always knew I wanted to learn what, how to do what they were doing. I love music like more than anything and whatever my favorite song is is what I'm going to play in my set. So I really like to show people new songs or to just experience like the song I love and watching other people enjoy it as well. Being at the party all the time is fun for me. Are we any good dancers in here? If you're a good dancer, I want to see you out on the dance floor right now. Show me your best moves. I'm a songwriter, a singer-songwriter. I also love outdoorsy stuff. Like last summer during quarantine, I discovered I like geode hunting, which is where you find rare stones in the wild, amethyst, quartz. I love doing stuff like that. The free food. <laughs> I try to taste the cake at every wedding I go to. But I also just love the, the experience of being at a wedding. Like it's a really beautiful experience. It's a lot of positivity. There's heartfelt moments when dads give toasts to their daughters and I'll hear them say something sweet. I'll be like, wow, that was really a nice experience. And they're a beautiful location. So I've DJed this summer in Utah and in Colorado and in Kentucky and like all over. And I get to go to these really beautiful locations and enjoy just the setting of the wedding. I'm sober and I'm an advocate for sobriety. I'm loyal, inspirational in a way, like I'm very inspired by a lot of things and I like to inspire others. I mean, I was on MTV's The Real World when I was 21 and that sometimes, if they're the right age, they remember that and they think that's cool. Like I did it in 2006, so we're talking like, you can do the math a while ago. But sometimes people still remember me from that show and they think that was a cool thing. So I, I performed in Stockholm, Sweden in 2018 and opened up for Eurovision's winner Netta from Israel. And then she told me to go to Israel and it wasn't on my plans to do that, but I took her advice and then fell in love with Israel. So that was a cool, cool experience meeting her. And... Is that a real question? I don't know who did. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.